Yesterday, we brought you the story of Shayla Hershey. Shayla contracted a staph infection from her triple K breast implants and is now fighting for her life. We have an update for you. Yesterday, Shayla had another surgery to save her breasts, but unfortunately, she's come to the final conclusion that she cannot save them and needs to focus on fighting for her life. In part two of our series on plastic surgery, we headed into a doctor's office and spoke with plastic surgeon Richard Westrich about what to know before you go under the knife. I always think about the first consultation with a patient almost like a blind date. Everybody's getting to know each other, you know a little bit about each other, but you're trying to figure out if this is a good match. But there is one way to make sure you don't end up in the same situation as Shayla Hershey. Give me, give me. It's easy to make somebody look different and unnatural. The challenge is making somebody look different and natural. So it's important to keep an open mind. Sometimes a conservative procedure will give you a more natural result. Breast augmentation is the most popular plastic surgery for women, but there are ways to make sure you don't go overboard. When going in for the consultation, it's important to put vanity aside and do what's appropriate for your body type. And injectables are also a common practice for a fresh look. So fresh and so clean, clean. A lot of patients come in thinking they need Botox, but Botox isn't for everywhere. General rule of thumb is that Botox is best for the eyes up, whereas fillers are best for the eyes down. And if you are looking to get a nose like Ashley Simpson or Angelina Jolie, Dr. Westreich has some important advice. While it's important to have specific goals for the surgery, it's important to be realistic. Uh, if you bring in a picture of your favorite celebrity, you may not actually get their nose. Finally, it's summer, and we're looking to have that bikini-ready body. But if you don't want to end up looking like this, there are other options you should think about. Liposuction is a great procedure for the right patient. Uh, but some patients need a tummy tuck instead of liposuction to address their loose skin. In the end, it's important to remember that this is a team effort. Every plastic surgeon wants their patients to be happy. Dr. Westreich joins me now. I've got so much to ask you, a thousand questions, and so do our viewers. So please, Twitter, and he's going to stick around and he's going to chat with people online too when we're done with this. Okay, in the piece, we talked about tummy tucks versus liposuction. You said sometimes it's better to have the tummy tuck. How do you know what's best for you? Well, a tummy tuck is a more involved procedure than liposuction, and it's generally for worse problems. Mm -hmm. uh, specific problems might be if you have a separation, or a hernia in the stomach, or uh, if you have a lot of extra skin, mm -hmm. such as what happens after weight loss or pregnancy, then a tummy tuck is a better option typically. All right, so now let's talk about eye lifts. Mm -hmm. Any tips for our viewers? Because it's a, it's a, you can do a lot, upper, mm -hmm. lower, all that kind of stuff. Right. So since it's a transition zone and there's a lot of different procedures, generally what I tell my patients is start out with the simplest thing. Which is what? Well, if it's fillers, then that's the right starting point. If it's simply an upper eye lift, mm -hmm. then that's the right starting point. Before you start getting more complex, because that simpler procedure you did will be a base for something you do down the line. Okay, so, and then we're gonna talk about injectables, which you just, you just mentioned. So mm -hmm. what you're saying is you can try some of the injectables first, and then later if you want to move on to some surgery? Exactly. Okay, and the injectables, what's a good starting point for that? I, I use a lot of the hyaluronics, such as Juvederm or Restylane. Uh, they're very safe, and they work in multiple areas of the face, and I find that I can really help in many different ways. All right, and so you're yeah. going to help people by answering questions in just a moment. Sounds so, great. So come to our website at alex.com and uh, alexnewyork.com. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Really appreciate it. So uh, come live chat with him right now. Still to come.